different songs. See it? You're a good, good father. It's who you are.
Minister A.Y. Sachs. Please once again another round of applause for this outstanding Minister of God. Yes. 
Mwisho wa Republika wa Wales ni Sowenda kwa like Black Panther I'm king of Wakanda.
Mickey Falls, I was supposed to read your profile. I sincerely apologize. It was an oversight for my part. Is my apology accepted? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> okay, I'm going to read the profile since you have decided not to accept it. Should I go ahead and read it? Yeah. All right. Mickey Falls is a young, talented, and anointed, give, gifted gospel minister endowed with a passion and purpose for touching lives lyrically, coupled with an infusion of witty, indigenous rap music. He believes that we all have a mandate to share the gospel in whatever way God has wired us to. And he just happens to be blessed by God with lyrical capabilities and dexterity. This has made him more than ready to use those God given gifts to combat the kingdom of darkness by taking over the music scene in the world through gospel rap. With a booming intention to spread Jesus throughout the globe, he was among the top rappers to be selected for the final stage in the recently concluded Rabababae Challenge organized by the DJ University of Koza Kulefe. Finished as one, yeah. Finished as one of the top five in the NYC Talent Hunt competition organized in Abuja 2017 batch B. He is blessed and anointed for the manifestation of the sons of God. This generation. Please once again, I'm not going to ask you to get that. Yes. 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 Now I want to introduce another big masquerade. We know him back where we used to be in a favor of Alola University. He's my brother. I'm going to be studying him. And we are ready to support. You support strangers, you buy their products, you've never seen them before. Support your own. That's why we are here. Our students, please put your hands together for yourself. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your name is hard to pronounce. Please make welcome, Minister A. 
That's worship your present. God's grace is amazing, and He can never take His face away from us. We have need to understand why Christ was on the cross. He said, Why, <laughs> why Baba did turn the back to me? Do you understand what I'm saying? And then God turned his back on Christ so that he wouldn't turn his back on us. So he, 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 he backed Christ to face us. That's what God does. And he can never take his grace away from us. You know, I've heard people argue several times. There's, there's some things you will do that God will withdraw his grace from you. I said, God will grace you. I'll finish. Because what have we not done that is not warranting of his grace you have? If you sin today, you confess today, before tomorrow you sin and confess again. You know, God is never tired of you. God doesn't have a place where he keeps your confession like, this guy has confessed too much, we draw the grace. There's nothing like that. He doesn't have a place where he says, this one, he does the same thing. In the market. God is good. God is good. I just want somebody that understands God to just look up your head and say, God, I thank you. I thank you for your grace. 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 Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Let's sing it concert. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you.
In the book of Acts, people got through the Holy Spirit. And um, but how many people knew that they were few? How did they know? So it means that if you really spirit, right now for you. Those are that's what people to know how spiritual they are. You see black mark here. I want to show for this. You can see somebody looking not married. Walking not married. Looking like there's nothing to them. But they generate power. Hundred thousand kids. How many people pray the Holy Spirit? No fighting, no fighting, no fighting. No fighting, no fighting, no fighting. They have to do something different. Just go straight in, go straight in, go straight in. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Press, press, press. Press, press, press.
the next world may even cause us to stop. We are about to pray for Nigeria. That's right, We are about to pray for Nigeria. And to take us on this, please be welcome, Pastor JT. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Can we put our hands in the same mood and just pray in other tongues? Let's not cut the floor. Lift your hands, everyone. The wind's trying to activate something here. I want for us to explore it for Nigeria. We're praying for our same nation. We just lift your hands if you desire anything good to the nation. Just speak it in these streams, in other talks. Shows up, a national issue is solved. When he showed up, born of Virgin Mary, the angel declared that he will save his people. A certain dimension of saving his people happens. So if you carry the Christ, you are, you are not anointed to be a local child job. You must save certain people. So we have complained, we have murmured, we have argued, we have watched the news, we have called them names. Now it's time for those who carry Christ to save their people. I believe I'm talking to the solutions to the problems in Nigeria. I believe that's the people I'm talking to. So once you lift your hands up and lift Nigeria and say, Father, I yield myself. Use me to solve one national issue. Use me to solve one problem in Nigeria. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank
This is the platform where people receive the revelation of Christ. That's where to put your money. This is the platform where people receive fresh insights about how the nation of the universe. This is the platform where people come out of condemnation and guilt and they can face tomorrow. I want somebody to give a tangible offering today. I want Titus as you to put your fights together with your tighter in your building. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check your title. Please come. come. I want to say a special word of prayer over you. But it is just the I want to offer this to the Lord. Are we ready to give our offerings? Okay, let's rise to our feet. All the titles, thank you. Bless you. I'll wait for titles. I'll wait for titles. I'll wait for titles. Amen. Very unique level of covenant. We must pray over it. Can we all rise on our feet? If that's okay. Can we be standing in honor of God? The Bible declares that we should honor God with our substance. So when we keep our money stays here, it's our honor that goes up. So please don't just do something that needs to be empty. Let it be honor with it. Let it be sacrificial. Let it be with honor. Father, we thank you for this tithe. She has brought the tempest. We declare explosive orders of blessing on the night in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare that this is the least you will ever be. So you have sold to the kingdom. The kingdom begins to find expression in you in new dimensions. In the name of Jesus, as you have paid your tithe, sown your seed today, we declare that the windows of heaven are open over you in a new dimension. They have the fresh insights and ideas that will change the world and solve the problem of the nation are upon you in the name of Jesus. So be it for every tighter in this place in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every place is saying that. Amen. Please raise your offering. Raise your offering. We want to pray a blessing over. I want you to speak a word on your offering by yourself and then I'll put a seal on it. Speak directly into it. Send it on an errand. 
send your offering on a specific errand. I want you to say something. Say something. Say something you want to see God do tonight. Just say it. And say, Father, this is my sacrifice. This is what I want to see tonight. Place a demand on heaven at the reason of this sacrifice. Say, Father, I want to see this shift in this place. I want to see this shift in my life. I want this to never happen again. I want I want this I want this momentum to come on me. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the opportunity you have availed us to give, to sow, to plant, and to build. We ask that as this goes into the kingdom, we declare, Lord, that boundaries begin to fall to us in pleasant places. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because in every heart and every soul that's hungry for a deeper revelation dimension of your presence and your power and the Christ, we ask that as they sow in sacrifice there will be the dew of heaven upon their lives in the name of Jesus. We declare that this is the least you will ever be. We declare that this is the smallest you will ever be. We declare that this is the poorest you will ever be. We send this seed into your future as a token. We give it a voice it will speak prosperity over you forever in the name of Jesus. Now I want somebody to give this Offering with a dance and with honor for the Lord. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yes, All right. You are God. You are not just people. You are not just natural. You are the great God. You are the God. You are not just people. You are not just natural.
and it's been just an amazing, it's been an amazing experience time to time. But people will, ask, people will always ask me, what 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 is the crisis about? I know it's not an English word, yeah. But we just like really want to put that into dictionary. Yeah. You know. Christ in Christ. I would say that for those that are in Christ, they are new creatures. So people, some people just, some people know how to just pick the mistakes of people. You know, in, in, in the video I made, I, I said they are new creations. You know, I don't know if anybody knows that. Someone just messaged me and they type a long message and encourage me, encourage me, and just say that. Uh, but the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter this that this we are new creation, not creation. You know what I did? I went straight to the ISV version. See, it was a mistake. <laughs> but I went to go and search. Fortunately for me, ISV gave me my new creation. I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just creation it. I said, please. I said, I said, by the way, sir, it is actually second Corinthians. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, but basically, as believers, whatever situation we go through is temporary. But our position in Christ is permanent. Yeah. But the mistake we make is that we allow our temporary situations to change our perspective about our permanent position. Hallelujah. You know, the types of shadows of Christ in Christ in Christ. Look at Noah. Anyone that is in Christ is a new creature. Right? Look at Noah. Anybody that entered the, the ark was saved. Guess what? The ark only had an opening upstairs. So that the only thing you can look up is. In quotes, you understand. But I want to tell someone here today that you are just here to learn about the positional right in Christ. What Christ has done for you. God bless me, God bless me, God give me anointing, God give me anointing, give me anointing. Bible says that He has anointed you. Give me the book of First Corinthians, chapter chapter six. First Corinthians, second Corinthians one twenty one. Give me one first Corinthians one twenty one. So we want to see that for a new level, there's a new devil, you know, yeah, it's fine. But your problems can never be bigger than God. Can never be bigger than God. My mom would always tell me something. She said something while she was preaching a couple of weeks or months ago. She said, when you are under a canopy, make sure you put down your umbrella. And he says, for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world back. 121, right? Is that how it is? Second Corinthians 121. This first Corinthians, give me second Corinthians 121. Now he has these words, God bless you. <laughs> he which established us with you in what? And that what? Not will anoint you. I've met people that have fasted for 40 days, 90 days, God, you're anointing. Who are you me? I've met people that say, you know, you're right, I know you're right. God call me. God call me to the work of ministry. Ah, uh, I'm tired. God call me to, you understand? But the truth is that for Jesus to say it is finished, we underestimate that simple sentence. It is finished means it is finished. So everything God needs to do, he has done. We just need to receive what he has done. For God to forgive you your sins again today, Jesus has to die today. Because he forgave you 2,000 years ago. But if you believe that Jesus doesn't have to die again, all you have to do is receive the forgiveness. Are we together? Yes. Yeah, so I'm not here to preach this morning. The major preacher is coming up very soon. But then, um, you know, I will just, I just, I just wanted us to know what we're here for. And just to know, now this is going to be a yearly conference. This is the Christ that won't know what. This is the Christ that won't know what. So next year we will be Christ that won't know what. 202. Next year, second semester, now that is the year. Okay, no, if we have the second semester this year, it will be one or two. But once you cross to the next year, it will be one Next year, and by the grace of God, we are going to be having wonderful, wonderful people to come around to teach us about all of this. I, I, I feel so, I feel so honored to have Dr. Kim here. You know, you know, what of those are going to be It's time to come here. It's time to come here. Basically, I met, I met Dr. Phil um, last year. 
Something terrible happened in school. The devil not expected someone to stop me from eating Dr. Phil. You are aware of that. You are aware of that. You know, it was the last minute. I just took the white shirt in my room. And I just gentle down. I got there and I just sat down and Dr. Phil came on and now I was invited to my minister for Friday yesterday, the next day, which was Saturday, and he came on the Friday. And all the classes that I wrote, and I wrote down and documented them. He came and started preaching in that pattern. I wrote back. You know, it's not to me like to just not get video camera and video him for Friday. And when I get there on Saturday, I'll just say, behold. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? And with that, we, we didn't meet the first time. He came the second time, I don't think we really met, but I came back to Abuja and I met him. And, one of the reasons why he is here today, or the reason why my, my father, when he was alive, was very careful with the word of God. But my father saw Pastor, Pastor Field in his revelation. We had a meeting Pastor Field and described Pastor Field to me. And I'm so happy to make that with God. I'm so happy to make God. So he described me and was like, ah, this is my son. We went to the room there, this is my son. He came. And so he's someone I look up to. He's a he's a he's a phenomenal man. He's taking over the you know, you know, he's church, you know, church, he's stand for church, TSP, and he's only pastors in the church and last evening. I'm telling you. The idea of the pastor is not about church. I would have come here and everything I would say is about gospel and gospel and gospel and but the truth is that when you see something, whatever you don't honor, doesn't go to you. So I honor you so much, Pastor Phil. Well, there was something they wrote about him. Let me just read. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Phil Ransom Bello is the senior pastor of the Standpoint Church Abuja, the son of Bishop Ransom S. Bello, who is the presiding bishop of Calvary Life Assembly International and president of Ransom World Outreach Ministry. He's a trained medical doctor. Who are the doctors in the house this evening? <laughs> 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 you know, he's from the University of Canada, a spirit field leader. He was a two time president of two Christian fellowships on campus. He's the lover of God and a seasoned teacher of the world. When I mean seasoned teacher of the world, I speak and use anything to explain the gospel. Yeah. Am I like, no! no. He can use anything to explain the gospel. He's a fine man. He didn't write it here, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's a seasoned teacher of the world whose passion is to raise a Christ conscious church. He's a lot to have that as a passion. The only thing wants to preach to people is that God has forgiven your sins. Ah. Now he says, and to see God's people dominate in their sphere of influence. His passion is to raise a Christ conscious church, like I said, and see saints take over territories. He is Christ and the I want to see the person to rise up as a pastor field.
and I thank you for the privilege. I'm so happy to be a part of your family.
And Jesus now begins to talk about something that is very unrelated to the request of some people. And the next thing you hear Jesus say is, except the corn of wheat falls on the ground and dies, it abides the Lord. You see, there's no connection between how to see and except the corn of wheat falls on the dice. It is not related. Not in this life, but in the next life. So when Jesus says, except the corn of wheat falls on the ground and dies, it's indirectly saying that the Greeks cannot benefit from this Jesus who has not been so like a corn. What it means to say is, you want to see Jesus, but this Jesus you want to see cannot benefit you. The Jesus that will benefit you is the one that is so like a corn. We're talking about